it's definitely a sports car by every definition of the word. The Air Motion concept is more of a vision than a real car. It's supposed to inspire and enlighten us to make excellent products for the future. But as we work with it, we realize that it actually could become a product. Air is the root of everything. What I wanted to do in this project is eliminate any need for any kind of other power source. I wanted to eliminate gasoline, electricity, so that it was just completely powered by air. The single idea of air powering the refueling station, which then powered the car. The important thing is that the replenishment stations are powered by wind turbine balloons that float about a thousand feet in the air. And so those collect kinetic energy from the wind, convert it into electricity, and that's what powers the station and, and allows it to compress the air to power the car. So it doesn't use any fossil fuels at all. I started off with a bunch of different shapes that were inspired by air and wind and you know fast looking forms because we wanted this to be a fun, fast car. And uh, so I started playing around with those forms. They kind of guided me in which direction to go into. And then we kind of narrowed it down to one design and kept, you know, kept going with that. And uh, that's what it turned into, a real sleek uh, clamshell design, a top shell, bottom shell, and an interior piece in between. Just so it would be really lightweight and simple, eliminating all the suspension component and just having the shells act as the suspension. As we were developing it, Dean had the idea of having the people sit back to back. So the interior, the front and rear crash boxes, the tank is all housed in one carbon fiber shell and it really makes it more efficient, you know, so you're eliminating thousands and thousands of parts. I think from a form design point of view, the form language is actually quite sophisticated. The most important thing is the inspiration and the offsprings on technologies, lightweight technologies, smaller air compressors, smaller brakes, more efficient structures, etc. So I think the most important for us as a company is the intellectual properties that we're going to gain from this. But of course, it could be built, and we'll see.